are experiencing an out-of-control spike across the United States, and we are seeing widespread community transmission here in Maryland. For the second time this week, Governor Hogan speaks directly to Marylanders, urging them to do their part as cases of the coronavirus they continue to spike here in Maryland. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Baker. And I'm Vic Carter. For the ninth straight day, we have more than 1,000 new COVID cases in Maryland. The number of people in the hospital also climbing, more than 58 in the last 24 hours. And just moments ago, the governor addressing this surge while also announcing that millions of dollars to help Maryland's struggling families and small businesses. Our team coverage of this pandemic begins with WJZ investigator Mike Calgrain, who has more from the governor. Mike. Vic, Nicole, the governor did not announce any new restrictions, even as local leaders around the state are doing exactly that. Now, among the new funding that's coming in from the CARES Act is $10 million for food banks and $10 million for rental assistance. Today, 863 COVID patients are cur currently hospitalized in Maryland, which is our highest level since June 11th. Coronavirus infections across the state are surging with the positivity rate now at 5.65 percent. Governor Hogan again sounded the alarm. We are experiencing an out of control spike across the United States and we are seeing widespread community transmission here in Maryland. But he did not add new restrictions, instead focusing on the economics. The state will spend an additional $70 million, including $20 million for personal protective equipment, $10 million on supplies for the upcoming vaccine, which needs to be kept cold, and $1 million to detect coronavirus in wastewater, a way to pinpoint major outbreaks fast. The gridlock in Washington and continued failure of both parties to reach any compromise on the next stimulus package is having a devastating impact on our business community and on the lives of our citizens. Our leaders in Washington on both sides of the aisle need to put the politics aside, do their jobs, and get this done for the American people. The governor signaled he would be open to more restrictions if case numbers got worse. The weeks and the months ahead are going to be very difficult with more and more people getting infected, being hospitalized, and losing their lives. Our collective actions now will determine what further steps will be needed. And the governor says he is monitoring the metrics every single day. And he says absolutely we could see more restrictions in the coming days and weeks ahead. He also says the state's mask mandate has been effective. Reporting live, Mike Kelgren, WJZ. All right, Mike, thank you. At this very moment, Baltimore City is re implementing some restrictions because of the rise in COVID cases there. We want to bring in Avajor Burnett, who's got more on these changes for us. Hey, Avajoy. Hi, Nicole. Well, because of the surge in coronavirus cases here in the city of Baltimore, gatherings will be limited to fewer than 10 people. And places like gyms, restaurants, or places of worship will be capped at just 25% capacity. Now, as you can imagine, many people here in the city of Baltimore were watching and waiting, and that includes business owners. When the clock struck five, Baltimore City started clamping back down on restrictions, a sign that leaders are trying to find any way possible to stay ahead of the coronavirus. Gatherings of more than 10 people, public or private, will not be allowed. And every business in the city will have to limit the capacity to 25%. We just started dining. Restaurant owner Randy Proplay says he's finding a way to adjust. We're pretty good at pivoting, dealing with the times as they come. I think we're going to be ready for I mean, we were just not seating at all, so... Some, what, some seating can, is always going to be better than no seating. Health Commissioner Dr. Letitia Duraza says in just a matter of days, Baltimore's COVID-19 cases nearly doubled. Yeah, we're very much not out of the woods. We are in an active pandemic, and we have to continue. A lot of the activities and behaviors that kept us safe early on need to continue throughout this, throughout this pandemic. Hospitalizations are also a concern. Dr. Duraza said since October 1st, those figures have shot up threefold. It's now mandatory to wear a mask in Baltimore City, even if you're out in the open. I'm, I'm all about certainly protecting not only myself, but others around me. Yeah, especially in the city, it's like a much higher concentration of people than from where I live. So I think it's even more careful here. As businesses get ready for another round of restrictions, the owner of the Spells Point store is looking for a bright spot. We're going to be open and we're going to be appreciative of everything, everything that we get. 
We asked the city health commissioner how this mask mandate will be enforced, and she said, of course, uh, city police will be there to remind people, but the hope is that neighbors will remind their neighbors to mask up. Live at 5, Ava Joy Burnett for WJZ. Ava Joy, thank you. And now we want to bring in Rachel Carden. Rachel, it's not only the city imposing new restrictions, many counties are also taking the governor's statewide mandates one step further. Tell us about that. That's right, Vic, and one of those counties is Anne Arundel. Now, they are actually suspending all youth athletics starting on Monday, and they're going to reduce their indoor dining capacity a week from Friday on November 20th. Many Maryland counties aren't taking any chances when it comes to protecting their residents. Business owners have been held accountable. And that will continue to be the case. Baltimore, Carroll, Hartford, and Howard counties are all reducing indoor dining to 50%. Mask wearing remains mandatory indoors, and gatherings should be no more than 25 people inside. With Thanksgiving a few weeks out, Howard County Executive Calvin Ball says having guests from outside the region is dangerous. This is not the year for that. This is the year to have small gatherings with people uh, with whom you live. Uh, to drop off food. Ball commended Howard County residents and businesses for their excellent compliance, saying their efforts are keeping the case count here down. Stay simple, just to stay inside, wear your mask at all times, and stay six feet apart from people. Business owners dealt a tough blow when many were forced to close. Now just want to ensure they won't lose more income so they follow the rules. We're wearing gloves, we're wearing masks. Uh, we're not going to a job without one, but just all the necessary precautions. It's very, very, very simple. Anne Arundel County is taking a more aggressive approach as their cases have been rising. On average, 132 new cases a day for the last week. You can't wear the damn mask when you're eating. And you can't wear the damn mask when you're drinking. And what we're choosing to do is to limit the capacity indoors in restaurants from 50% to 25%. And indoor gatherings in Anne Arundel County are also being reduced. That statewide mandate is 25 here in Anne Arundel. They don't want people gathering in groups of more than 10 if you're going to be indoors. Again, any travel across the state is strongly discouraged. We're live in Severn. I'm Rachel Carden for WJZ.